So here we are with our steering wheel from the 919 Hybrid. And as you can see, there are many buttons, switches and pedals. And uh, yeah, there are around 30 of these on that steering wheel with a lot of different functions. I just start with the, yeah, with the most obvious one is the display in the middle. Here we have like vital informations like such as uh, gear indication, we have uh, the lap time, we have the delta lap time, we have uh, yeah, a lot of different values that uh, the team is asking us uh, throughout our runs. For sure we have a lot of basic switches such as radio communication, so we have to press for example the radio button to speak to, the, to our race engineer. We have a pit speed limiter, so this is like mandatory once you enter the pit road that we cannot uh, exceed 60 kph. To drive the car for sure we need the clutches which are on the bottom right here and we need to the, the right hand um, pedal for the upshift and the left hand pedal for the downshift. Yeah, and then uh, for sure some, some switches left for, for engine mapping and for uh, the hybrid, for the boost distribution. So a lot of interesting things and yeah, I mean, you guys can have a look. Hey Timo, uh, when I see your cockpit it looks more like a PlayStation uh, with all those functions you have. If you see our steering wheel it's a lot more simple. We have the radio button to communicate with the team similar to your car. We have the brake valve um, here which is really important. It's uh, for the start of the race where we basically can lock the rear brake and reload the car with the foot uh, uh, pedal, so the normal clutch, and then when the light goes off on the, on the lights on the start, we just release the button and the car takes off. What else is important? I would say pit speed, also similar to yours, to reach the 60 kph in pit lane. Uh, starter button, obviously to start up the engine, and neutral for the gearbox. Um, that's basically the most important ones on the front already. Then on the rear, you have three pedals. The one on the right hand side is basically to shift up. The one on the left is to shift down. We do that under full throttle, the upshift and the downshift. We don't have to put the clutch in, so we just brake and uh, yeah, basically pull the pedal and the gearbox does it automatically. Then we have this upper one, which is for our DRS. This is something you don't have in your car. This is to overtake other cars. Uh, it's a track reduction system, similar to Formula One. Uh, when we are close, uh, within one second to the car in front, we can use that to overtake. So, is it PlayStation or more the simple one like we have in DTM? What do you have, Lucas, in your car? Hi, guys. I think I'm also part of this PlayStation generation. Let me show a little bit our steering wheel. So, we have here the basic functions, specially designed for Formula E. You have electronic brake distribution, you have the strategy function, you have the different power modes for qualifying, for race, for rain, for starts, everything. We have the change on the dash. We have the... Um, I don't know what it is green for. Jens, what is set up on the green button? Uh, you have a reverse button, which makes clearly the car reverse in, in case it's needed. Then on the back of the steering wheel, you have gear up and gear down. This is a specific pedal which controls the regenerative braking. So how much energy is taken from the braking, the magnetic braking from the engine back into the battery and you can control it manually. And here, this is also very special, is the fan boost pedal, which means that if the fan votes for me during the race, I get an extra push that I can use once per race. As soon as I press this, with Fan Boost activated, I get another 50 horsepower for 5 seconds. 